we are going to be seeing how far we can travel on a space trip. Let's get right into this. So if y'all haven't seen my previous video, basically this game is the exact same as the Dusty trip, but in space. But anyway, we're now in the game. So basically what we got to do is we got to go ahead and build our spaceship right here, which is also our car. So we got to go ahead and attach all of these boosters right here to our car so we can go ahead and move. So these are pretty much the same thing as wheels. Also in this game, instead of having a hunger bar, we actually have an oxygen bar. So we got to go ahead and find these oxygen tanks around the map so we can go ahead and fill up our oxygen and make sure that we don't die anyway let's go ahead and make sure we attach this to our car as well we also need to go ahead and grab some fuel in these water containers and also to ensure that we can get as far as possible let's go ahead and buy this lightsaber so let's go ahead and buy this because there are mutants around the map that we are going to need to kill so this will definitely allow us to kill them a lot faster and dang this is actually looking pretty cool but anyway let's go ahead and attach this to the roof of our car so we have easy access to it and now let's go ahead and fuel up our radiator with these water tanks and then let's also make sure that we fuel up our engine as well we now went ahead and fueled up our engine so let's place that right there now let's go ahead and start our travel so we're mainly trying to reach 50,000 meters which is going to take quite some time also once again this is pretty much the exact same as dusty trip but just in space so all the controls are the same as well and i think we actually have headlights and i did just crash into a meteor which really stinks because we just lost like half of our stuff so anyway let's hop out and we already lost two of our rocket thrusters our engine and also i think that's our radiator up there i don't even know how that happened but anyway, let's get to reattach all of this stuff. So we do have to watch out for a lot more items because there's all these meters in the sky. And apparently if we even tap one, like half the items of our car, go ahead and detach. So we definitely don't want that to be happening. But anyway, let's just go and keep flying. We do actually have tons of gas and tons of water. So we could probably drive like all the way to 5,000 meters without even stopping. We now made it to nearly 2,000 meters and I am going to stop here because I think we're actually pretty low on water. So anyway, let's hop out and let's also go ahead and grab our lightsaber because there's probably gonna be a mutant in there right once we go and open the door so let's place this down and yep i can already see him and let's go ahead and open the door and let's quickly grab our lightsaber and let's also go ahead and spin it around just to make sure we don't accidentally stab ourselves and now let's go ahead and kill this dude and all right this lightsaber actually isn't doing as much damage as i thought it would i thought it would like nearly insta kill him and there we go we killed one and now let's go ahead and kill this other and there we go never mind so that lightsaber was actually pretty good we did take quite a bit of damage but anyway let's go ahead and loot this place and yes there's water canisters we also need the oxygen so we'll go ahead and use up all the oxygen from these containers but anyway let's go ahead and bring these over let's check our radiator and never mind we did still have quite a bit of water also the only way to heal in this game is by eating food so we gotta make sure that we do eat that but yeah i guess our radiator like didn't even need water so we didn't even need to stop here but anyway we did find a gas canister so we might as well go ahead and fill up our car a little bit and then just continue our journey and it looks like there is like a black hole or something i didn't see this last time i played but anyway i kind of want to fly into it and see what happens hopefully it doesn't obliterate our car and <laughs> never mind okay so it did obliterate our car okay well let's go ahead and redo that and let's make sure not to go in that black hole next time we're now back at spawn and this is the regular engine right here but i actually went ahead and bought the cyber truck back here that has a way bigger engine so it has this massive engine right here that does go faster so we're actually gonna see if we can put this in the regular car up there and see if it works and it looks like it did work so we actually have this massive engine right there now we can barely even see the radiator but anyway let's go ahead and get rid of this old one so let's just go ahead and toss it into space and let's also see if we can use these thrusters right here so i don't really think that they're gonna make a difference from just these regular ones right here but we might as well try them so let's see if we can place them and yes we can and i'm actually not too sure about this because they kind of stick out a lot more but hopefully they'll make us go faster we now have the last thruster so let's get and attach it so this is where our car is looking like kind of goofy but hopefully it goes a lot faster than it originally was so before i think it was going like 60 to 80 and let's go yep it is going faster so we're now going 110 and oh what just happened and apparently we went negative meters not sure what happened right there and okay well i never seen that before but anyway, let's just continue on, and hopefully nothing bad happens this time. We now made it to nearly 3,000 meters, and I found another black hole, but we luckily managed to escape it. So it kind of started dragging us near it, but I was able to, like, steer away. Also, by the way, we can't steer too far away from the road, or else we'll actually start getting radiation. Which, if we stack up enough radiation, we will eventually die, so we gotta make sure not to do that. Also, we are starting to run pretty low on fuel as well, so I'll try to find any nearby buildings. And we did sadly crash. 
So let's go ahead and hop out. So we do gotta be fast. So we can try to get and find the parts that we lost. So we lost two of our thrusters. And I think choosing these thrusters were actually a bad idea because they like match the sky. So they're super hard to see. But anyway, we just gotta fly around and hope that we can find them. And there they are. Okay, I thought I saw them fly that way. But anyway, they're all the way back here. So let's just go ahead and reattach them and then we should be good. We now found a building. So let's go ahead and stop here. And it actually takes so long to break. Like I'm trying to fly over there, but we're still moving this way. But anyway, we need to go ahead and stop here because we're pretty low on gas and we're drifting around like crazy right now but anyway we're pretty low on gas and we're also getting pretty low on oxygen as well so anyway let's go ahead and hop out also i didn't manage to find this knife right here at spawn so let's go ahead and grab this so we can kill any mutants we find and let's just go ahead and jump in the top and i'm actually not seeing any mutants okay so it looks like there is one outside but it looks like he can't really get to us and there's actually this giant katana right here so let's go ahead and grab this and then we should use this to kill him and we luckily managed to kill him which is pretty nice but anyway let's go ahead and grab this oxygen real quick because we're super low so let's go ahead and drink up all this oxygen then we'll get and attach the katana to our car and also we'll get and grab all the fuel tanks we now finished looting that previous place so now we're just going to continue flying and we're going to stop at pretty much every building such as this one up here so we're pretty much just going to stop at like the next three or so buildings because we definitely do need oxygen because we're still very low on oxygen we do still have quite a bit of gas but it's mostly oxygen that's the problem right now so we're going to get as much oxygen as possible and toss the extras in the back but it does look like there's actually a noob in that house which i'm not too sure if he's gonna be friendly or not i don't really think so but i mean he does look pretty friendly it doesn't look like he has any weapons so hopefully he doesn't kill us so let's go inside and let's see what he's doing and i think he's just chilling here which actually looks like we can talk to him so let's go and hold e so he says bring him something or be gone so let's actually try bringing him maybe like one of these things so it doesn't really have much value but anyway let's talk to him and he's seen this thousands of times let's go ahead and try this and then he just doesn't say anything so i think we probably got bring him something of value and he isn't really saying much he's just telling me to bring things to him but anyway let's eat this food so we can go ahead and heal up and then we'll just go ahead and loot this place and then leave he doesn't really have too much to offer anyway we now have a full tank of fuel and we also have all this extra oxygen and gas right here so we're pretty much stacked up on everything we need we could probably find a water canister and that could possibly be helpful but overall we're pretty stacked up right now so we don't really need to stop for a while so anyway let's go ahead and drive all the way to the 5,000 meter mark we now reach 5,000 meters and we're now in the end Andromeda Galaxy, so that's pretty nice. But currently, there's no landmarks in the game, such as how Dusty Trip has like a bridge at 5,000 meters. The only landmarks in this game is that you like travel to new galaxies. But anyway, let's just go and drive all the way to 10,000 meters now. We're now approaching 10,000 meters, and there we go, we just hit it. So I'm assuming that we should go to a different galaxy any second now. And there we go. So, what galaxy are we gonna be in? In the Exvar cluster. I'm not sure if I said that correct at all. But anyway, here we are, and we're currently in a green galaxy pretty cool but so far this game is actually quite harder than i originally thought it was because it's pretty difficult at having to like dodge all the asteroids also i learned that if you hop out the car automatically stops in its place so we don't have to slow down at all just hop out your car and then it will go to a complete stop anyway let's go ahead and kill that person and we did actually almost die right there and anyway, let's go ahead and attach our katana to our car and there is actually another person in there and anyway let's go ahead and grab our katana and let's see if we can kill him and hopefully we can go ahead and kill him and no it looks like we died so i guess we may it to 10,000 meters though and this game is actually a lot harder than i thought it would be because it's very difficult to dodge all the asteroids because your car doesn't stop very fast and it just like continues drifting so if an asteroid appears like right in front of you it's pretty hard to dodge but anyway it looks like we made it to 10,000 meters on a space trip though if y'all want to see me try to go ahead and get farther make sure to click that subscribe button but anyway that is going to be all for this video though so make sure to leave a like subscribe and turn on post notifications and i'll see y'all in the next video